This is Batman's grappling gun. One of the most iconic gadgets on Batman's utility belt. And every Batman has its own version of it. From the animated films, to Keaton, Kilmer, and Clooney, to my personal favorite, Christian Bale from Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight Trilogy. The practicality and the aesthetic of this grappling gun has always been a fascination of mine. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it on this very first episode of Propway Explains. And I'm going to make my own prop grappling gun using this Creality Ender 5 S1. More on that later. So let's begin. The origins of Nolan's Batman came in 2005 with the film Batman Begins. As Bruce Wayne decided it was time for him to take on the criminals of Gotham, his first step was to visit the Applied Science Division of Wayne Enterprises in order to equip himself with the necessary gear to fight crime. Applied Sciences caught my eye. There, he meets Lucius Fox and was introduced to several military prototypes, including a Nomex survival suit, utility harness, and of course, the grappling gun. So how does it work? Fox describes it as a gas-powered magnetic grappling gun with 350-pound test monofilament. In other words, a pressurized gas cylinder would be used to propel a magnetic hook-like grapple, kind of like this, which would be attached to a thin wire. The pressurized gas cylinder would look very similar to this, which you would find in an airsoft gun or a paintball gun. The user of the grappling gun then has a few options on what to do next, like reeling himself up or pulling his target towards him, but we'll go over some examples in more detail later. The grappling gun has twin barrels, and each barrel contains its own hook, as can be seen in this shot from Batman Begins. The thin monofilament wire comes from inside the cartridge. This cartridge can be removed and loaded into the grappling gun like a magazine. If you want to get into even more detail, the Dark Knight Manual, one of my favorite books on any superhero universe, has some really cool engineering drawings listing out all of the components. So what makes this design and aesthetic so special? For me personally, the practicality and realistic nature of this grappling gun makes it so much more interesting. It was designed for military purposes and for search and rescue situations, hence the durable look and more neutral colors. I highly doubt something like this from the earlier Batman films would be used in a search and rescue. But all of these grappling guns have their own place in each universe, I just like this one the best. So we've spent a lot of time talking about the grappling gun and how it fits into Nolan's universe. I think now is a perfect time to make one for ourselves. If you remember, I actually have printed a couple of these for my Batman armory, but I wanted to make a few small changes to the details and get an overall higher quality print. And for this reason, I'll be using the Ender 5 S1 printer. My favorite part about this printer is its stable cube-shaped frame which makes it super sturdy and very easy to transport. Plus, its 250 mm per second printing speed makes it one of the fastest printers I've ever used. As for the grappling gun, I 3D modeled this myself in Onshape and broke it down into three main pieces. The body of the gun, the cartridge, and the barrel. If you're interested in printing this for yourself, you can purchase the 3D file on my Etsy page, link in the description below. So to set up the print, I am using the Creality Slicer, which is very easy to set up and works very similar to other slicers on the market. These 3D files require very minimal support, so a fast printer like this will feel even faster. Right off the bat, I noticed the quality was better than some of my other printers. A lot of this is thanks to the auto leveling feature, which Creality makes super simple to do right on the touchscreen. The Ender 5 S1 has the ability to print multiple types of filaments, but for most of your basic display props, PLA filament will work just fine. You can see here, the prints pop off very easily and cleanly. And now that we have our prints finished, we can start super gluing some of these pieces together. And just like that, our grappling gun is complete. I can't thank Creality enough for this Ender 5 S1 printer. It's just such a well-integrated product and is super powerful and easy to use. If you're in the market for a super fast printer with a form factor like this one, I highly recommend this printer. Go try it out today. So now, 
Back to the grapple gun. So what does Batman use the grapple gun for? He's used this grappling gun a few different ways and that's what makes it such a versatile tool. The most common use for it is to scale buildings or walls at rapid speeds. Once the grapple hook is attached to its target, Batman can attach the filament to the front buckle of his utility belt. This acts as a motorized reel and can automatically pull him up. The grappling gun and harness were intended to be used in conjunction, which is why Bruce needs to use the belt that came with the harness. If the motorized reel is not being used, Batman can simply just capture targets with the hook and either hold them in position, like when he caught the Joker from falling, or he can pull them back with his own strength. Take this scene from The Dark Knight, for example. It also appears that he has the ability to disconnect the wire from the gun and anchor the wire to external structures, like when he hangs Flash upside down in Batman Begins, or when he hangs the Joker upside down over the ledge in The Dark Knight. For now, my 3D printed grapple gun doesn't have any of these abilities, but who knows, maybe it's currently in R&D at Propway Enterprises. Actually, I do know, but I can't tell you. Anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you guys learned a lot about the engineering and design behind the grappling gun, and I hope you try building your own using my 3D file for sale now on Etsy. Also, this is a very different type of video for me, so if you enjoyed this episode of Propway Explains or have ideas on how to make it better, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. If you're interested in seeing more of the Dark Knight, be sure to check out my previous videos on how I built this armory and Dark Knight suit.